Tonight, two violent crimes pushed law enforcement to make changes in patrolling and enforcement, putting more officers and deputies on the streets to make sure everyone in the low country is safe. This is Riley Benson talked to law enforcement leaders and joins us from downtown Charleston with more. Riley. Brennan, right where I'm standing on King Street is where Tom DiLorenzo was shot dead just less than a week ago. Days later, a deadly shooting at a Waffle House in North Charleston. And now local law enforcement agencies are trying to get a handle on the crime happening here on the peninsula. I spoke with one resident in the city of Charleston. And he says he feels safe living here. Overall, I feel generally safe. Uh, there, there are parts of the city that I know that have had higher crime rates. The Charleston County Sheriff's Office, South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, and the City of Charleston Police Department stepping up patrols in presence. The virus, um, uh, things that are going on around the country, uh, it's a recent uptick in crime in our area. Two deadly shootings in less than a week, prompting change from law enforcement agencies. Those are the kinds of things that are around here that add to uh, our concern about this uptick and, and we've had numerous other shootings. The three agencies increasing joint operations in the city of Charleston and other areas to keep the low country safe. I think the public uh, understandably is uh, uneasy. Charleston County Sheriff Al Cannon says deputies will shift from other parts of the county to patrol popular areas like King Street and Meeting Street in hopes of reversing the uptick in crime. I think this is a proactive approach to send the message out there and not here not now. And while Jack Batrelli, a downtown Charleston resident, says he feels safe, he believes adding additional law enforcement officers should be welcomed. I think that times might be tough, but I don't think that that says that Charleston isn't a safe place to live anymore, or that Charleston isn't a safe place to walk around. Now coming up on News 2 at 6, we'll hear from City of Charleston Police Chief Luther Reynolds on the plan to increase presence here on the peninsula. Live in downtown Charleston, Riley Benson, Count on 2.